Hello guys, welcome to solveme.net. Today I will going to start discussion about the Active Directory tool which is ADSI edit.msc. You all aware about that there is lots of thing within the this command. But here I am going to cover only few commands which usually ask in interview. So let's start. So first of all, what is ADSI edit? The ADSI edit is a Microsoft Windows Server tools that you can use to view and edit raw Active Directory server attributes through the directory services interface protocol. Here you can easily understand that ADSI that means Active Directory services interface which is a protocol. It can be find in Active Direct administrative tools or you can find it also in system32 folder or you can also open this through the run commands which is ADSI edit.msc. Okay. So here uh, I am covering a few important thing which is which usually asking in the interview. So our uh, first question is that what is Tom Storm lifetime and what is the default value it value of it and how you can check it. So first of all try to understand what is Tom Storm lifetime. Tom Storm lifetime when an active directory object such as user or computer accounts is deleted the object actually remains in the active directory for a period of time known as Tom Storm lifetime that you can easily understand that suppose uh, you have a user XYZ and you want to delete them but unfortunately you have deleted the other user which is ZYB okay now how you can recover that deleted object so in the active directory there is a uh, in active directory there is called the Tom Storm lifetime which is uh, which store your all object which has been deleted previously and it can be recovered so re recover uh, within the time period which is the Tom Storm lifetime so now uh, talking about the value of uh, um, value or time period of this Tom Storm lifetime. Actually, the Tom Storm lifetime uh, time period it depends upon your version of Windows Server. Like from Server 2000 to 2003, it is by default 60 days, and in Server 2003 Service Pack 1 and uh, till Server 2012 and later, it is 180 days by default. So now uh, here we are going to the step how you can check the Tom Storm lifetime version and or how you can modify the Tom Storm lifetime. Okay. So first of all um, as I have already uh, told you that uh, you can access it through command prompt through system32 folder and administrative tool. So uh, let me show you the first how you where you can find the ADSI edit tools. Okay. So let's i'm going to system32 folder okay ready system32 folder and adsi edit you can find it this command this tools and you can right click on that and just run and run as administrator and it would be open through the within the administrative privilege okay and the second one is just open the administrative tools and you can find their adsi edit okay again you can right click there and run as administrator it will be open as a administrative privilege uh, but mostly uh, in in this in this video session uh, I am open opening this through uh, run command which is adsi edit.msc so let us start okay. by default suppose if you if you if you have if you are uh, opening this command first time that uh, you can see like this this is the um, msc tool okay, mmc tool so you have to just uh, action and connect to okay here you can see that there is lots of thing through we can connect connect it like default naming contest configuration root dse a scheme okay so <laughs> sorry now so now i'm going to check the tom storm lifetime so first of all uh, need to be connect as a configuration partition then we'll find it the cn is equal to services then cn is equal to windows nt 
so I am connecting it through configuration and then just double click on that and then again double click on that then it will be expand we will find it services then we will find it the windows NT then I am clicking on the directory services see in the windows NT then I need to be go to the right click and go to the properties on the directory services okay so not need to expand the directory services just right click on that and go to the properties and here just find it the tom storm lifetime okay so you know you can find it that it is 180 days that means because you already aware that this server is windows server 2012 r2 edition like i am showing you also see that this is windows server 2012 r2 extender so by default it is 180 days you can edit you can edit also through there okay? just edit and enter your value which you want to increase or decrease so now i am going to the next question which usually uh, asking in the interview so that uh, how to determine the schema version and what is the schema version in server 2003 server 2008 12 and all okay so the same thing just open adsi edit dot msc and browse through the schema configuration if you remember that for tom storm lifetime i was connecting through the configuration master but now configuration partition sorry but now i'm going to the connect through the schema configuration okay so let's first uh, can we it can be remove here uh, or then again connect to but I can also change it through the right click on that and go to the setting and here and connecting it as a schema like so, yeah. so just right click on that uh, S, uh, cn is equal to a schema cn is equal to configuration and go to the properties and uh, here you can find that object version if you can object version yeah, that is this is object version which is 69 okay 69 that means the schema version is windows server 2012 r2 okay and again if it will be find 56 that means it is server 2012 it, if it is find 52 that means it's 2012 server beta version if it is find 47 that means it server 2008 r2 it will find 44 then it is server 2008 if it will find 31 that means server 2003 r2 30 then it is server 2003 rtm service pack 1 or service pack 2 if it is 13 that means server 2000 okay so now uh, another way through which we can check the uh, schema version which is registry so i am going to close this and uh, first of all uh, opening the registry as you all aware that uh, how to check how to open the registry that no the simple command re edit you can enter it comma run and just enter okay so okay so now we have to find it uh, expand the h key local machine okay? then expand the system then expand the current control set then expand the ser services then windows anti uh, i can uh, control services and then ntds so, uh, sorry for my mistake it's a uh, ntds okay so ntds and then we'll find it parameters and then you can see that object version in the parameter so i will in parameter there is a schema version okay there is a schema version ah, okay sorry for object version this is a schema version okay? just double click on that you can find it good now here you can you know, raise a question that why it is showing 50 45 whenever 
the schema version is 69 whenever the server is server 2.12 or 2.12 r2 okay so because again this is 69 because the value is in decimal okay so when when i click on decimal it is change to 69 okay but as you know that uh, this is the d word 32 uh, registry value so it is in hexadecimal value okay that's why here it, it is showing 45 so we have already covered the schema version how to check the schema version okay so now again i am going to the next most important question in active directory that how how to check that the server has already ran the forest prep or server has already ran the domain prep so uh, here let me uh, uh, let me explain few things about the for ad prep okay because uh, i have also i have write an, a very long articles on ad prep so you can find it that uh, what is ad prep how you can run why it is uh, necessary for that and um, how to check and all okay but here i am covering few things like um, how we can verify that ad prep has been completed successfully or not or it's already ran on that particular server so what is forest prep actually forest prep we are uh, we can run it when we are going to be migrate server to the latest version of windows server okay so the command for forest prep is ad prep slash a space slash forest prep this can be run only once for the entire forest okay just remember it is it can be run only one time for the entire forest because this is forest level preparation okay must be done on the schema schema master server also and one more thing which you have to remember that if you are running this command you have you can only run this command on that server which server holds the schema operation master role in the forest so now second question is what permission are required to run this command okay. so you have to at least a schema master a schema admin or enterprises admin and domain admin also okay, to run the forest preparation successfully so now how we can verify that uh, the command has been uh, executed or completed successfully so just the same thing open the adsi edit.msc and then connect and then connect to as a configuration and then we'll uh, uh, double click on that configuration dc is equal to forest root domain okay. then we'll double click on the forest update so let me show you first mm, adsi edit what i'm again i am actually apparently it's updating that's why it's taking time no issue So I'm connecting as a configuration, and then just double click on that, and then double click on the forest update. Forest update. Then we'll right click on Active Directory update and click on Properties, and you know uh, that right click uh, on Active Directory updates. This is the Active Directory updates. Right. So right click on that and go to the Properties. Here you can find that revision. Revision is showing 15. 15. That means the server is server 2012 R2. You can also find that different version according to your requirement or according to what you have run through which um, which ser which server media. Okay. Suppose you you are checking this on Windows Server 2000. Okay then that means value should be 2 definitely value should be 2 and it will be 2 but whenever you run the forest prep command uh, from the server 2012 media you will see value of 15 because you, you have uh, run the forest prep of server 2012 r2 media that's why okay. so now other thing you have to check 
the schema also the same thing which i have already show you um, earlier but let me show you once again that how you can check the schema just connect it as a, a schema and then just right click on that and go to the properties and uh, find the object version which is 69 again you can understand that it is 69 that means the server is 2012 r2 or you have run the forest prep from the server 2012 r2 media so uh, the, the next question is how you can verify that domain prep has been completed successfully or you have already ran that domain prep on that server so let's start it first of all uh, what is the command for it the command is ad prep a space slash domain prep you can you, you can run this once in each domain okay and also remember the thing whenever you uh, you are going to run this command the server should have the infrastructure operation master role okay and you have uh, domain admin permission to perform this activity okay then how after after uh, after run this command how you can verify that it is completed successfully that First of all, the again same thing, just open ADSI edit command and then connect to as a default naming contacts, context. So I am just changing here. Again, I am I can show you that how you can connect it. You can remove it because if you open the first time ADSI command, it will be show you just like this. I just right click and connect to default naming context and then click OK or you can also change it through the right click and setting and then yes ok so uh, now we will find it cn up cn system and then cn domain updates ok so 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 cn system and then then cn domain updates and then active directory updates ok so right click on active directory updates and click on the properties here we can find the revision attributes okay. right click on that and then here and revision revision is 10 10 10 that means the server is server 2012 r2 or you have run this command from the server 2012 r2 media okay. and one more thing uh, if if you can find the value uh, some different like 9 for that means you have run this command from server 2012 media also okay. and so going on according to the value okay. and you can also find all your related uh, logs of the active directory preparation like you know ad prep in that location it's uh, uh, windows installation drives i mean in windows directory then debug and ad preps and then logs this is the logs directory of ad prep right? so you can easily find them so thank you for watching let's like and subscribe our channels